got to be kidding me. Shelby GT350. Gone in 60 seconds, the movie. It's Eleanor. I get it. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How you doing? Um, this thing is nice. This is the real thing, not a clone, huh? The real deal. This is it. 67 GT350? Yep. Only 1,175 made total. Need my tennis racket. It's Wim Wimbledon White, right? It is Wimbledon White. <laughs> Carroll Shelby was a great uh, race car driver as well as a great builder of cars, and that's why Ford got involved with him to begin with. Got it here in Las Vegas about 12 years ago. It's a treasure to own. What made this car famous was the movie Gone in 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage. They nicknamed the car Eleanor. That's why the car is worth more value today. The 67 is the best, period. I appreciate that. I, it really is. I mean, this was the way Carroll Shelby envisioned the car. Okay, and he worked on it, his guys worked on it. It wasn't guys at a Ford plant slapping it together who didn't give a <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> this is one of the quintessential cool cars of the 1960s. There was right around 100 modifications that Shelby did to a Ford Mustang to make the GT350. It improved its performance, its handling, and its style. Needless to say, this is about as cool as it gets, and I would love to have it. This is clean. This is really nice. Ah, it looks all beautifully stock. That's what I like to see. Yep, original four-speed top loader. It's got 62,000 original miles on the car. Original gauges. I'm sure the upholstery's been redone. Just the inserts in the seats actually have been redone. Well, that's, that's expected to be done. It's just as long as it's done right. Right. And this all looks right. And uh, he signed the glove box. Oh, he's charged like a, a couple hundred bucks. You just had to give it to his charity, right? Yep, that's the way it went. That's definitely a plus, as far as I'm concerned. So how much are you looking to get out of it? Well, um, my asking on the car is $125,000. I've done my homework on this car. I know the value of it. I feel it's a fair price what I'm asking for the car. OK. I'm going to call up a buddy of mine, have him come down here and help me figure out the price. I mean, it's just, it's an expensive car. There's a million little things that raise and lower the prices on these things. OK. OK, so right. let me get him down here. He will know every single thing there is to know about this car. Terrific. OK. Nice. There it is, the Hypo 289, man. It looks like it's a it's a pretty well-kept engine bay. You know, this is definitely a car that's been cherished, I can tell that. What really makes the difference right now is the test drive. <laughs> That's the only way to validate whether it's a real Shelby. I think it's the real deal, guys. Do you mind if we take it for a spin around the block, make sure there's no problems, everything's running right? Uh, yeah, that's that's okay. That's fine. Okay. So I promise I won't break it. Okay, you promise. The Hypo 289. Let's do this. Be careful with my baby. Back in 67, when you were driving this car, you were kind of a baller. I mean, this was paying a lot of money to drive a Mustang. Yeah. You could drive a Porsche for the price of this car back then. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's nice, man. She's real tight. The test drive was awesome, man. It's a solid car. It felt good. It's got really good power. You know that car would get the goods when you lay in the throttle. What do you think it's worth? Well, um, it's a solid car. Runs and drives good. So I'd say anywhere between a hundred to 110,000 bucks. I appreciate you letting us take it for a nice, easy meander down the road. I appreciate what you said, and we'll talk yeah. and we'll see how it You goes. got a great car, man. Great okay, car, Rick. I appreciate it. Thanks so right, much. See you soon, Good luck, man. buddy. So what do you think? Um, I think it's a great car, and I rarely do this, but I'm not going to negotiate. I will give you 100 grand. There's no money past 100 grand, none. Is it feasible? Uh, that you might be able to do 105. No. Anything past 100 is, doesn't make a dime of sense. All right, so that's the max you're going to go? Not one dime more. You got a deal. Sweet. Um, let's go do some paperwork, and right. um, we can figure out if my dad's going to yell at me for driving for a week. <laughs> I figure this was a good point for me to go ahead and let it go. And now he's got the car, I got the money, and I'm out of here. 